Hi and welcome to the show. Today we're looking at Peugeot's new 207 GT, so let's take it for a test drive. Hi, I'm Greg Fraser, and this is Peugeot's new 207 GT. And this is a car with some big shoes to fill because its predecessor, the 206, was Peugeot's most successful car ever. Replacing the superseded GTI's 2 litre naturally aspirated engine is an all new 1.6 litre turbo power plant. The result of a Peugeot BMW joint venture, it offers a more compact design with the advantage of improved fuel economy and lower emissions. The 207 scores five stars under European NCAP testing and there's an extensive list of safety equipment. As expected, the GT has ABS brakes with EBD and brake assist, plus stability and traction control. There are adaptive front airbags, which alter their pressure dependent on the accident force, as well as side and curtain airbags. All seat belts have warning lights. Another great safety feature on the GT are tyre pressure monitors. Pedestrians aren't forgotten either with engine hardpoints kept away from the bonnet and absorbent padding on the front impact beam to reduce lower leg injuries. The result is a three-star pedestrian safety rating. Now if there's one thing that Peugeot's, especially the small ones, have been famous for is their nimble handling. It runs on Pirelli P0 tyres, they're 45 series. The suspension's firm, but this is a sports hatch and the steering is direct. It turns into corners nice and crisply, almost like a go-kart. The 207's design gives a sense of space. In front of the driver, the dash has a slick, minimal style, almost like a motorcycle. Some of the equipment options include Bluetooth phone kit and five-disc CD player, while dual zone air conditioning and automatic headlamps and wipers and a full-length glass roof are standard. The seats in the 207 are a sports bucket seat, and this is a sports hatchback. So they're not the biggest seat that you'll get in a car, but they're nice and hip-hugging. The bolsters hold you in place through the corners, and over a long trip, they work really well. There's enough luggage space for a weekend's worth of gear, and making a welcome return is a full-size spare wheel. Located in the boot floor, it replaces the 206's space saver, which lived unloved and unattended under the car. The GT requires pulp fuel, but it confirms the efficiency of a small displacement turbo engine. With the 207, Peugeot have made a real effort to create a greener, small car. So here's our take on Peugeot's new 207 GT. Things that we didn't quite like, as much as there is more interior space in the new car, there's still limited room around the pedals for the driver. Also, some of the interior plastics could be a bit nicer in their finish, and the glove box isn't really a glove box. It can only store a couple of cans. Things we did like about the car are its five-star safety rating, the 1.6-litre turbo engine's fuel efficiency, and the chassis' nimble, agile handling. If you'd like more information on the 207 GT, visit our website for a full report.